Hi everybody, I am Bremen19 and welcome to episode 4 of our Egyptian campaign in Imperator Rome as we are fighting against Serenica up here. We're really about to finish it off with and we're at 99, uh, 99 war score, but because this game is kind of, it's so new and I haven't really played a whole lot of it yet, I don't know if I'm just going to go ahead and try to destroy these guys or we could do a little experiment. Let's experiment, yes, let's do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and say I want to take Mamarka. Which is this little thing here. I do want to take uh, Serenica there. This one right here is Barca. And then we want to take Certica. That's a 44 with 19 aggressive expansions. Our expansion is going to be huge. We'll take 117. If I click OK, we're going to take the popularity. So these guys actually did disappear. Okay, I wasn't sure if they were going to disappear or not. Um, if you recall from EU4, when you do this, they actually form up as rebels and they rush back to go try to retake over land. I don't know if that's going to ever happen or not, but, you know, it's just part of it. Here's the aggressive expansion. Pretty high. Um, barbarians, where? Right there, ooh. Try to pull everybody back. Now he does have troops on him, so if we can get these 6,000 there. Quick, get there, get there. Four days, hold out. Daggum it, you didn't do it. Um. Where are you running? Back to here? And we are fighting them pretty hard here. Let's get men back here. We can replenish troops once they get there. We might lose a little bit of territory here to him. So long as I can recover troops. Yep, they've taken a location. I don't know what that does when he do, when they do that. Maybe it gives some kills some people or something. I don't know. Hopefully, it doesn't kill a bunch of pops. That would be terrible. Let these guys return. He looks like he's just going to go right there. I'm actually going to go ahead and pull him back to here. They're pillaging. I need to check those little... I need to start reading those things. Yeah, we're recovering troops. I've got up to I got fourteen thousand guys. We should be able to do something against them. The Epigeny, the kings that once served Alexander, have started to pass away, and with them, so does the immediate claim to his empire. The men who have become known as the successors are now themselves being succeeded by their progeny, the Epigeny. While powerful leaders in their own right, with a strong claim to the realms of their fathers, these Epigeny are regional dynasts and cannot restore an empire now was lost. All claims on Alexander's empire are lost to us. The world shall know us by our own deeds. Yep, a new Basilius, Ptolemy, Ptolemy Karanos Lajid, rose to the throne and will now rule a glorious nation. He's a 5827. The gods are weeping over the passing of Ptolemy Soder Lajid. Uh, yes, we have stability drops. The death of Ptolemy. He was 76. He died of a heart attack. Well, unfortunate things. Got to figure out where I can uh, increase stability. That's a problem I need to find out what to do with. Um, doop -a doop -a doo Where is it? Need some military? No. Technology? Uh, no. Religion? Sacrifice to the gods. Okay, so we're at zero. Better than nothing. You better than negative. 
So these guys, they pillage. They cause enough damage to decrease civilization by 10. So they decrease civilization where they go. He's a level 7, by the way. We have an unmarried ruler. Let's arrange a marriage. He can marry his mother. I think that's a mother. No, maybe not. Another Lajid, Lajid. Okay. I don't know how I want to do this. Um, There's popularity. There's loyalty. There is some money involved. I want somebody that's going to last a long time. How old is he? He's 32. I can give him a 28-year-old Lysandra Lajid. Though they have the same last name. I don't... That's the weird thing about these games. You never know what you're, you know, how that's going to work out. Loyalty. But no corruption. Great health. Blood of the Lajade. Zeal. Prominence. Devout. Lustful, so she gets fertility. Dumb, so she's not very smart. She's a tactician. This one's merciful. Founder. Zealous. And the blood of Lege. I'm just going to go with Lysandra. 3348. Of course, the other one's a 1004. Uh, I think we're. I'd rather have an all around good person. Range the marriage. Became married to Lysandra Lajid. There we go. We'll take that. You know, it wouldn't be all that mad if we headed straight for the coast and started letting ourselves rebuild. Ptolemy the Guileless. The session does not become naturally to Ptolemy Karanos uh, Lajid. On the rare occasion that he attempts to subterfuge, even his friends have to feign ignorance in order to avoid a scene. He gains guilelessness. Or guileless. Okay. There we go. I want to make sure we... Do that. Um, the Olympic Games. We could send a Majid... Or Alexandrid. I'm gonna send Orestes. Um, titles unassigned. The art. Okay, this office is a royal steward responsible for administering the collection of taxes and government spending for the monarch. So we need somebody kind of smart for this one, I guess. Um, well, let me see who's some scorned families while I'm at it. The pen, the penhead, the nectabed. So the penhead and the t and the nectabed are both two families I could do. Um, Ectanabo is that the same guy? That's Nectanabid. old. He's like 70. Pesherneman Nectanabo. Let's just go look at that other guy and see if that's who he is. I don't see Nectanabo anywhere on here, by the way. Okay. That's just a weird how they do the names like that. Um, yeah, I'm going to take the Nectanabo. It's 29. Which means it gives them some good time to build up. Yep, following this, so we can gain morale, we can gain up some troop, 
you know, we want to do whatever we can to get better. Even though he is sieging down, you know, bit by bit here. Liberation, the city council of Canopus has taken upon themselves to free a sizable quantity of privately owned slaves. We could intervene if we think it's best. Letting slaves go get too comfortable could have repercussions. Um, for freedom, come on. We can have some freemen working. I don't care. I would love to kind of take like the whole, uh, you know, that's your land, you do your own thing type approach. If you feel like that's what you should do, you should do it. As long as you pay me my taxes and you send men to war, I don't care what you do. And, oh, you don't, you know, rebel. I don't really care what you do. Kind of take the whole libertarian, less, you know, less government is more better for the people type thing. Uh, we will not have a fight there because he's going to get out in time. Yep, just barely in time. We're going to have the fight here though. 13641 versus 8991. Olympics on a mus. Okay, what happened here? Yeah, everybody fell behind him. Okay, um, we got a first time winner on Amasis Penaid of Locri. Better luck next time as we'll gain some popularity for this. There you go. Good fight, good fight, good fight. We'll follow this guy. Oh, we're going to catch him here. And we'll definitely win. It says our side might win. I'm fairly certain we will. There it goes. And barbarians were defeated. Uh, Philetus, Philetus Sosthenid has defeated the barbarians of Troglodita. Uh, he is a general of six stress. Okay, we shall great profit greatly from the 40.05. There are one pops capture that have been distributed as slaves like this. One to Petrus Makros. Okay. All to Alexandria. There are some starving pops. Where are these guys starving at? Petra. Can I build? Let's build a granary. Build a marketplace there. Um, Petra Mikros. Let's just build the granary there, and then the Trakos will build the granary. I don't know if granaries are actually going to improve it. I, I really don't. But it's worth a shot. It makes the slaves happy. Okay, a child is born. My Basilius, a daughter, has been born to Tommy Kerligid. We are told that the babe is named Ma uh, Manistrate Lagid. She's a daughter of the Basilius of Egypt. She's a member of the Lagid family. Or Lagid, however you want to call that. I don't care. Let's see. Decisions. We could do the Pharaoh's Lighthouse if we can get 1,200. Or... Hmm. It says I don't have the necessary amount of gold. I don't believe that. Oh, our stability has to be greater than zero. Okay, that's fine. We'll lose some gold to get it, but I'm not going to worry about this moment. Barbarians! Where? Down here. Okay. Head there. Should be recuperating troops along the way. The Penide are the only ones that feel scorned. Which is good news, it's coming to an end. Um, Petra and Panark uh, Panarchus are the only two other places right now. Hopefully these granaries come around to help.
Oh no, they're going here. It's okay, we didn't get too far away. If we can get there, I don't think we will. There he goes. He's he's got one more he's gonna make it to. And we'll probably destroy him there. Nope, we caught him on the way. And we're definitely gonna win the battle. Uh patronage of the arts. Hmm. We'll lose some money to gain legitimacy. He should be coming towards us. Or he might be running off further, I don't know. Yep, we'll catch him here. At Pinarok this. Come on, let's get him. There you go, and that's it. Uh, he has defeated the Barbarians at Troglodyta. He is a general... Okay, yep, person, family. Greatly profit from the 83.93 gold, and they were one Pops catcher that has been distributed to sl as slaves like this. One has gone to Memphis. Go there, please. There's Babylon. This is, this is the weird thing. I have no clue how to see those. Tell me he falls ill. He's fallen ill. Okay, he has he gets inflammation. Okay. I mean there's more it's more of those things that like CK2 did right there. I just don't understand it. We are at 590, so we've fallen to ninth. Ugh. I mean you would think we'd only get better. Pop happiness. Okay. Research points increase. We'll take this invention. Progressive expansion impact, minus five. There we go, we'll take up this. Another idea. Um, Hmm. I could take up. Yeah, oratory ideas only. Monthly corruption, general loyalty, and admiral loyalty. Impre improve opinion maximum. We'll stop that. There you go. This actually increases. Yeah, monthly tourney mice 0.1. National citizen happiness plus 10. Okay, I mean, we'll see. I don't really know what it all does, but it doesn't hurt to have it. We're actually going to be regaining manpower for a little while here. Can I come here? Now we own this guy. I can improve relations with them. Okay. Establishing an embassy, I guess. Yeah, up to 133. Now, if I wanted to... Start integration. I have to have him at 190 opinion, like I would, you know, an EU4. So, trying to get him up this up to 190. I guess I think that's his opinion.
It doesn't tell me what negative. Oh, aggressive expansion's dropping it by 24. So it could be 60, you know, it could be higher than that. That aggressive expansion hurts. Okay, so now we need to know, now we know that we need to not have that. Especially if I want to integrate subjects. Um, I really don't want to do anything up here. There's no reason, not, not to mention I can't even get up there yet. But I would love some wood to build some ships and take care of that problem. I think it'd be kind of cool to take Cyprus from Phrygia. It'd be kind of funny, actually. Just, you know, hey, we own that now. Welcome to regular Egypt. Um, I'd like to take Bolivia next, I think. They're trading vegetables. Sosthenid and Penied. Starving Pops and Petra only. We'll build that. Okay. All right, guys. I think I'm going to end it right here. Um, but we're going to continue to let our aggressive expansion tick down. Um, I don't really know if there's a way to make it go down quicker. But uh, I think over time we'll figure out if there is. But, uh, yeah, we don't really need to go expanding. As you can see, we've already kind of expanded as far as we can west for the time being. As far as we can northeast, it's really these areas down here we want to go. Eventually, I do want to kind of take this guy underneath my wing and uh, set myself up to go against Kush uh, from two directions would be kind of cool. So, uh, all right, guys, appreciate y'all so much for watching. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and comment. Maybe check the link for Discord in the description below, and I'll see you all next time.